Yes, this is the 18th of December 2013 with Vincent Corporation and we have a poultry manure here we're going to run. We have four pails of it. Um, oh, we'll start out, we're going to use this little four inch press here. The openings on the screen are 15 thousandths of an inch, uh, uh, 350 microns. It's set up for steam injection. We have a boiler over there, but we don't anticipate putting steam into this press. We have a VFD, variable frequency drive, to run it so we can change the speed. The main thing we have is a uh, cement mixer we're going to try, so we can blend in various things. Um, hydrated lime, ground wood as a press aid, polymer, See what it takes if we can find something that will make this uh, manure give up its water. Right now, if I grab this manure um, and squeeze it, it's like mashed potatoes. I can't squeeze any water out. Um, I don't think a scoop press will get anything out either, but uh, we'll give it a try just to see what happens. Okay, we're feeding in some uh, manure here. The screw is going uh, 18 RPM, and they're feeding in slowly. I don't expect this to work. Uh, the air pressure is one bar, 15 psi, and uh, so this is just straight manure. Okay, we've run for a bit. I am now going to run this discharge cone in. And the cone goes mostly shut, and I'm not getting any water or liquid separation whatsoever. Oh, I'm starting to squeeze some through the screen there. And here also I've got puree of manure, but no liquid solid separation. So uh, you can shut it off. We have the manure in the mixer. And we've calculated that this is 3% hydrated lime. We're going to add water to this lime and then mix it into the mixer. Okay, we are mixing in 3% by weight uh, hydrated lime, calcium hydroxide. Uh, we'll mix it in for a good 15 minutes see if we can get a good blend here. Okay, this, we don't think any reactions occurred. We've given it probably a half hour, so we can stop this. And if there's a chemical reaction, I would squeeze water out. And I'm not getting any water to come out. So what we will do to this material is we will add press aid. The press aid we're going to use is ground wood, commercial product, uh, sold around the world to... Uh, and this is what ground wood looks like. And uh, we'll blend in uh, a heavy dose, oh, 3% by weight. Maybe I'll go five, I've got to make this work. Uh, last week I was working in Sicily with this, and uh, we started with five and we ended up using one and a half percent. But that's the next thing we're going to add. Yes, we've uh, blended in 3% by weight. Ready to uh, try it in the press. This is the material with 3%. If I squeeze it, I should be able to get a drop of water to come out. Well, this fistful doesn't want to put out a drop of water, but you can see my hand is wetter. Here's the cake coming out. You can see some dots of lime, the white dots, and the fiber, the press aid. It's coming out a little wetter here, but we're not getting any true water liquid separation. There's our press liquor. You can see the improvement we achieved, but... Uh, Obviously, a press can't uh, do anything for this material. Okay, we're 
trying to feed some styrofoam through here to clean this press out. We got some water coming out. We got a hose going, but uh, here we can see uh, that's just cleaning water as we're trying to flush out the manure that was inside the press. I should say this is what I thought we would achieve with the manure. We just don't have enough water in our manure. I also wanted to comment that when we agitated that uh, with lime, we got a tremendous uh, amount of ammonia. The ammonia fumes were very thick when we mixed the lime and, and the uh, cement mixer with the manure. Our second pail of manure here uh, uh, has some long feathers in it. But uh, we've cleaned out our cement mixer, and um, because we didn't want the lime in there, we're now going to add some uh, polymer. In the meantime, we're still trying to uh, clean out our screw press here. I haven't seen any foam come through yet. It's going to be soon. Okay, we're mixing some uh, polymer in with the uh, manure. In the meantime, we got the press clean. Uh, you, you see here are cotton seed holes. The uh, foam didn't quite push through. Cotton seed holes look like this. Uh, they're a press aid, but they're also good for uh, uh, cleaning out the press. So we've got the press Kevin, pretty clean. You said you're going to need the long. Adding Here's the press we've been using on this testing. Uh, we have a number of presses set up here in this test area. Here's a twin screw. Uh, there's one that's being sandblasted, painted. Well, you can see uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, oh, we've got a boiler here for steam injection. That bar on the top of that. That bar is for steam injection. started feeding the material with the polymer. It's coming through and then it pulls that discharge cone. Still at one bar. We're running 18 RPM. Uh, here's the material we're feeding in. It's spitting. Uh, liquid coming out on both sides. Sometimes that doesn't happen. Um, it looks like the cone's going to open on its own accord. Okay, getting, uh, we slowed down to 13 RPM from 18, uh, down to 30 Hertz, and uh, got rid of the channeling. The cake's coming out all the way around the screen. We've added quite a bit of water. This cake, uh, if I squeeze it, um, I can get a little moisture between my fingers. But um, anyway, that's what we're doing right now. We're running a time test. This will be labeled 1240 noontime. Yeah. Woody's squeezing this stuff. Get a nice steady flow of cake out. Fresh liquor samples. The water seems pretty clear. We collect the samples. We're still running our tests. Uh, this is what the press cake looks like. Here's our fresh liquor. This is very fresh manure. Uh, it was collected right out of the cage last night, uh, so it's very fresh. These are flights for screws, uh, more flights for smaller screws. Uh, we do uh, we make you know, screws for our screw presses, and uh, boy, do we have screws. Uh, paper shaft screw, straight shaft screw, you name it. Uh, screw department. 
these are cutouts for um, pieces for uh, we weld together to uh, uh, make screw presses. This is all stainless steel. This is the assembly department. There's a screw press going together. Another one. Um, here's one hasn't been sandblasted, but it's being assembled. Frame for another. Another one we're just getting started on, and then uh, lots of presses around here. Some of these presses are pretty big. Okay, it's the next morning, and this press is leaving. It's due to be shipped uh, next week. Should have run this test at the beginning of yesterday. I pushed it as hard as I can, very, very tight. And I uh, got just a little water out on my gloves. You can uh, see a little bit of water, maybe. Anyway, the uh, cape Okay, that's what we got out. Uh, this was fresh manure out of the bucket. Um, there's no free water in this material. We got the cloth wet, but um, uh, this manure did not have water in it to be removed.